If you ever think to yourself, man, I'm so awkward, I hate it, or I'm socially awkward, and you just don't know what to do about it, this video is for you. I'm gonna share three mindsets that I think are critical to master if you want to get over awkwardness and feel comfortable in any social situation. And these are things that I have pieced together over the years of feeling super awkward myself. And I, you know, I can't say I'm not awkward anymore, but at least I have a handle on these things and I feel a lot less awkward than I was. So let's jump into these three things, okay? Number one, uh, feeling awkward stems from a lack of self-confidence. My most painfully awkward years um, in yesteryear were when I was first starting out my career in marketing and I didn't know anything and I felt super uncomfortable about everything because I didn't know anything or so I thought. Um, and so because I felt so uncomfortable, uh, like those vibes would just, I would just give those out to other people. And I could tell that other people thought I was awkward, which made me feel even more awkward. And so it just kept, it was just a perpetual cycle. Um, and that got a little better as I learned more on my job and um, got a little bit more confident. So the thing to think about in this is if you think that your awkwardness is coming from a lack of confidence, then try to think about why are you lacking confidence and address that. Dressing confidence is a whole nother series of videos. This video is just for the purposes of awareness. That lack of confidence can lead to awkwardness. Solve the confidence problem, solve the awkwardness problem, okay? Number two, one way to cure awkwardness is to choose not to take yourself so seriously. Um, I think we, got, we get caught up in trying to make this perfect impression for people, right? And we want to come across as perfect, but what does that even mean? What does it mean to be perfect? <laughs> well, it's subjective in many cases and it's unrealistic. So if you give yourself permission to not take yourself seriously, to have a laugh when you're doing something, to smile, you'll find that things just come easier. If you decide to have fun when you're setting off on a, on a new task, um, if you decide to give yourself some grace and permission to screw up and have a little fun with it, you'll find that the awkwardness will kind of shift to the back burner because you're too busy having fun and focusing on the task, whether that's meeting new friends or doing something at work or asking someone out on a date, whatever that is, focus on having fun and not taking yourself seriously. The number three tip to get rid of awkwardness Remember, everyone else is too busy worrying about themselves to be thinking about you. Really, is your loss in your thoughts agonizing about how awkward you're feeling? You're thinking really hard about yourself. Now, take a step back and realize if you're thinking that hard about yourself and your behavior and how others are perceiving you, everyone else is doing the same thing. They're not thinking about how awkward you are. They're thinking about how awkward they are or what they're trying to accomplish or what their goals are or whatever is filling their mind. They're probably not thinking about you. And the sooner that you can realize that people aren't thinking about you, I mean, I guess that can be kind of a blow to your ego, but it's actually helpful because you could operate in freedom knowing that what you do is important, but not as many people are judging you as you think, okay? So just to summarize, three mindsets that will help you get rid of awkwardness. Number one, address where your lack of confidence is coming from that's causing you to feel awkward and take care of that. Build your confidence in that area. Number two, choose not to take yourself too seriously and give yourself permission to have some fun. And number three, Remember, everyone else is too busy worrying about themselves to think about what you're doing or how awkward you are perceiving yourself to be. Okay, so I hope this is helpful. If, there, if there's anything you would add about ways to get over awkwardness, I'd love to hear it. Drop a comment below. If you found this content helpful, I'd love it if you'd hit the subscribe button. 
Thanks so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.